Hi. Um, the other day I was having a conversation with a friend of mine uh, about a sermon um, that an elder preached at my church. Um, she was talking about her struggles with different things and whatever and what one thing she said stuck with me she's like she said we're always living by the grace of God and that is so, so true but she said I want I want to get to a place where I can see beyond that not that uh, we won't need the grace of God from time to time. We will always need the grace of God and the grace of God will always keep us standing and will always be with us and be there for us uh, when we need it. But, but um, I believe there is a place beyond just making mistakes, repenting and uh, going along your life um, until the next time and then making mistakes repenting and going through the cycle of stuff I believe that there's a place beyond just living by the grace of God a, a, pl a place of abundance a place of uh, divine understanding a place where he share his mysteries with us if we just listened if we just would listen but i think that we are so bombarded with our own needs the needs of our family the needs of those in our circle that we can't um we can't see beyond that uh, so when i say living beyond grace i don't mean Oh, I've arrived. I've, I'm. I don't need the grace of God. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying living on a pl coming to a place where um, the grace of God is there, but we don't. Uh, it's not a crutch because sometimes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Sometimes the grace of God can actually become a crutch where we make mistakes, we slip and we fall and we repent and it just becomes a cycle and we just lean on grace. And I think he wants to come, he wants his church to come to a place where we're not just living by the grace of God, but we're exceeding um, the grace of God in the way we act, in the way we speak, in the way we conduct ourselves. I want to get to a place w with God where I'm just not slipping and falling and making mistakes, but he's revealing to me his divine will, his perfect will for our lives. Um, his, his, um, his I want to get to a place where he can reveal to me his purposes and I believe that there, there is a place in prayer where if we have our mind clear and with all this other stuff we can hear pray for that country pray for this country pray for that person i don't know if this has ever happened to anyone else but this has certainly happened to me where god wakes you up in the middle of the night and says pray for a person you don't even know um, and then you start praying for somebody you hardly know and he reveals details and you're like, what am I praying for? But I think that's a place where 
where he wants us to get to. And the thing about the enemy is he'll do anything uh, for us to get out of purpose and for us not to really see what's going on in our world and for us to be ignorant. So he'll keep us busy with who's talking about us, who's mad at us, uh, you know, all those little issues because he knows that the, that it's the little foxes that spoil the vine. So I would encourage you um, to not just lean on the grace of God, but to ask him for divine discernment to go beyond that so you're not just living in a cycle of making mistakes, repenting, and going back to the next time, making mistakes, repenting, and uh, going back to the next time. There's a place beyond that that he wants us to get to. Have a good night, you guys. Bye.